Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for the um, for your September 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look and see what your blocks and challenges in love are. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, you may switch the rules if you want. It could be blocks and challenges of someone that you're dealing with that's experiencing these blocks and challenges. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also uh, post readings on there too. I also go live on my Instagram page where I uh, answer one question readings for $20. I do uh, announce that on my YouTube channel uh, in the community tab. So make sure that you are um, subscribed to make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you know when that happens, okay? So Cancer, tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer here. What are Cancer's blocks and challenges in love? What are Cancer's blocks and challenges in love? For September 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer, for Cancer, for Cancer. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Moon. I mean, someone here definitely has secrets here. Or that someone here has a hard time opening up. Or that someone here is fearful of opening up or sharing a part of themselves with them. Uh, it's almost like an energy of someone here has a hard time being vulnerable. You know, I feel like maybe like conversations that you have with people could be very surfacey. It doesn't really go deep. It doesn't really go deep. There's definitely some inner child wounding here. Yeah, there's definitely inner child wounding here. You know, that there, there, could, there could have been some sort of an, emo, an emotional abuse or some sort of physical abuse here too for somebody. The, uh, because that, there's a sense of uh, feeling like a lack of safety. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a sense of holding back, pulling your energies back, or not really giving a whole lot. Uh, we have the Star card, Aquarius energy. So I do feel like, uh, you know, I do feel like someone here is actively working on healing this. Okay. Uh, when it comes to love at this point, you know, I feel like someone here is not really open to that. Uh, I do feel like there is still some stuff in the past that still hasn't been released yet or let go of. And this could be, you know, some past life, uh, th some past life, maybe, yeah, maybe it's past life trauma or that this is like childhood trauma that still needs to be tended to here. Uh, Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> With the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the Moon. In the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel like we have someone here that really keeps a lot to themselves. Yeah, really keeps a lot to themselves. And I feel like one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like, you know, maybe sometimes you're in this energy of like, you know what, I am looking for love. I do want to be with somebody, but then you're attracting emotionally unavailable people here too. Uh, because I feel like, you know, people can sense energy. If you have your energy pulled back, obviously another, the, the person that you're dealing with is not going to share their energy with you either. Okay. Even if someone here shares your energy with you and you don't share it back, it creates an energetic imbalance, you know? So, you know, you just have to keep that in mind. And when, you know, there's an energetic imbalance, you know, the universe is going to notice that and it's going to, you know, step in and kind of like blow things up. Tell me about the star card. Why is a star card here? Okay, we have the tower. Aries energy, Scorpio energy. Six of cups. King of cups. Two of Swords. Could be a situation that someone here has a decision to make between two people. Yeah, someone here has a decision to make between two people. It seems like there is a queen here that has a hard time letting go of the past. This is, uh, this is really interesting. I just feel like someone here is dealing with like a, a situation where someone here is emotionally unavailable, basically, or is dealing with emotionally unavailable people. 
So it's kind of like someone here is definitely looking deep within themselves and trying to figure out like what caused this. Like I need to get to the root of the issue here. Um, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. This is a huge wake up call for somebody because uh, there, like, I do feel like someone here has dealt. Like, if there's no, if there's nobody uh, really in your life right now, but it could be like you know prior situations. I feel like you're finally learning from those situations here, uh, uh, Cancer. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? Look out for work on here for September 2023 for Cancer. Ace of Cups, Death. Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. The only way that you could receive love openly, accept it, and, and give it openly is that you do let go of something here or heal from something that you're still holding on to, Cancer. Seven of Cups and Eight of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like there's a strong sense of still thinking about the past or maybe fans fantasizing about the past or uh, thinking about like past situations, past painful situations that you've dealt with here. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. I do feel like someone here is extremely, extremely guarded. Someone here is extremely guarded. It, you know, it could be an energy of like, yeah, I want love, but then, you know, just uh, for somebody, the shop's not open for that. The shop's not open for that Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Death, and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. A lot of times, you know, when it comes to looking for love, you know, sometimes we have to love ourselves first in order to attract that person that you're looking for. You know, being the best version of yourself, you know, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, nourishing yourself, you know, putting yourself first. You know, you could also be selfless in the relationship, but, you know, that selflessness, you know, needs to be also reciprocated back, you, you, you know? So you want to, you know, attract that energy that you're giving out. So, you know, I, I do feel like there's a sense of needing to let go, needing to heal some, uh, from something here. Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Six of Swords. Someone here is definitely having a major wake up call here. Yeah, someone here is like catching up, catching on with the patterns, the patterns that someone here has experienced, you know? Uh, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the higher fit Taurus energy. Someone here is extremely guarded. This is a great time right now to really root yourself and ground yourself with the deity here, someone that you believe in, a higher power. Because I do feel like someone here needs a bit of assistance here. Someone here needs guidance here too. Guidance and tool to tools to overcome it. You know, sometimes that's this higher fit is a representation of a neutral person, like a therapist, an energy worker, or a healer, or something like that. You know, so that's something to look into for somebody. So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.